Now, having made a PDF, there are some times that you want to be able to protect it. You don't want anyone to be able to make any changes. And this is particularly true if you've got some form fields. You might have pricing in there and you don't want someone to be able to alter a price of something from $100 down to $1. Under the Edit tab, you have the ability to protect the form. Under More Options, I can go to Security Properties. And in these Security Properties, you can see by default there's no security. Printing's allowed and people can make changes to the document and everything, and it's highlighted here. The simplest security is password security. If I choose this option, it says if you want someone to be able to even open this document, then type a password here. Now you would have to tell the people who are opening this document that password. It's not usual that that would be the case, but you might have something that's sensitive that has student names or something like that and you don't want anyone to be able to see those student names and addresses, so you could choose that option. I'm not going to. But if we look at the restriction of editing here, you've got some choices here about allowing printing, whether in high or low resolution or not at all. I'm going to say they can print it, that's fine. But the changes I want them to make, because this is a form, obviously they need to be able to make some changes, and I want them to be able to fill in those forms. There are other options on this page that you can look at as well. So I need to type a password here so that I can change this form. They won't know this password, so they'll only be able to fill in the form, but I need to be able to change this form. So I'm going to put in a password here. And you can see there that that's saying that's a really weak password, even though it's number of digits long. As I type, you can see that it's decided that's a really quite a strong password. It'd be nice if there were four green blocks, but so be it. When I click OK, it's telling me that, all right, you've put in a password and we're trying to put in some security, but be aware that there are third-party products that can, um, that can circumvent that. I'll click OK and it says, well, you better type that password again. If you don't type the same password, you'll get this challenge here. Just a word about these passwords. If you lose this password, there is nothing you can do. You need to remember this password. Write it down somewhere. I know we don't usually say that about passwords, but write it down. Put it in your desk drawer or something like that. The security of writing down a password like this isn't as bad as writing down some other passwords because generally you're going to create this form at your desk and that's where you'd write down the password and keep it in your desk and then you're probably going to email this form off to other people. They aren't near your desk so they don't see that password. So now I've typed that password again. I click OK, and because I've typed it correctly, it's telling me that until I save this document, those security settings won't be applied. So I'll save it. And now when I open it, I try to make a alteration to this form by editing it and it says, what's the password?